What Earth was like 2 billion years ago. 2 billion years ago, Earth experienced the most devastating mass extinction in its history. Up to 99.5% of all life vanished. The seas teemed with microscopic life back then. The land remained largely barren and hostile. No plants existed yet. No animals roamed the surface. But life itself nearly caused its own extinction. Cyanobacteria stood at the center of this drama. These primitive microorganisms mastered a new form of photosynthesis. They were different from all previous life forms. These bacteria produced oxygen as waste. They multiplied rapidly across the oceans. Oxygen levels in the atmosphere began to rise dramatically. This period became known as the Great Oxidation Event. It transformed Earth's chemistry forever. Most life forms at the time couldn't handle oxygen. It was highly toxic to them at even low levels. The rising oxygen levels poisoned the majority of Earth's inhabitants. These creatures had evolved in an oxygen-free world. They had no defenses. The death toll reached staggering heights. Between 80% and 99.5% of all organisms perished. This surpassed even the famous extinction that would later claim the dinosaurs. The mass death reshaped all life on Earth. The planet's climate became extremely unstable. Oxygen increased rapidly at first. It reacted with methane in the atmosphere. Methane had been keeping Earth warm as a greenhouse gas. Its loss triggered devastating global ice ages. Glaciers advanced across the planet, but the freezing didn't last forever. Intense volcanic activity pumped carbon dioxide into the air. Huge underwater volcanoes released heat and gases. This eventually thawed the ice sheets. Periods of intense warmth followed. The cycle repeated several times. The oceans transformed completely during this time. The increasing oxygen caused dissolved iron to rust. This created layers of iron deposits. They sank to the sea floor. These deposits formed distinctive bands in the rock. We can still see them today in ancient rock formations. Life faced a choice, adapt or die. The survivors developed new biological tools. These helped them handle oxygen's destructive properties. Some organisms went further. They learned to harness oxygen's power. This let them extract more energy from food. This adaptation would later enable complex life forms to evolve. The surviving microbes began to change in remarkable ways. The first eukaryotic cells appeared around this time. These were complex cells with internal compartments. They had a nucleus to house their DNA. They developed internal membranes and structures. These sophisticated cells would eventually lead to all complex life on Earth. This includes every plant and animal alive today.